your journey to excellence your journey to success your journey to greatness my journey to excellence my journey to greatness always begins in the next 5 minutes and the control of the next 5 minutes is the most critical aspect that we can actually teach ourselves because once you know how to build a great 5 minute period an excellent 5 minute period a 5 minute period of um, complete focus and excellence you just just need to repeat it multiple times over and over to actually create the legacy that you deserve to build in a lifetime so there are few conditions that need to be adhered to when you're talking about building the great 5 minute period and this is something that i've seen a lot of people flounder and they are not able to execute because of the fact that they are not able to clean up their mind and the and the overall environment in which they are actually trying to execute the next 5 minutes so in my view there are few things that need to be there a few things that do not need to be there and i'm particularly pointing out four major things in this video the first which is a presence that is required is that when you sit down for those 5 minutes for doing whatever work you do the work has to be quantitatively defined it has to be defined in terms of a number it has to be defined in terms of an of an outcome that you're looking for which can be measured numerically that's a presence that you need when you come to your 5 minutes because unless your your 5 minutes and the excellence of the 5 minutes connects to a goal that you are looking for that you want in your life in the next 5 6 8 10 12 months the next 5 minutes of excellence will not connect to that goal unless you unless you connect it uh, deliberately there will be no uh, no outcomes coming out of great 5 minute periods in the context of your challenges and your goals and hence the goals and the challenges have to be brought into the next 5 minutes with with a very clear quantitative numerical numbering if you are talking about about let's say uh, trying to increase your salesman and you're trying to increase the sales of your company's product you say that okay today yesterday i did 10 10 uh, uh, calls today i'll do 15 and hence my next 5 minutes is this one call which i need to do excellently so so you you try to make it as quantitative as possible the other three things are the absence of things the absence of emotions the absence of your mind wandering anywhere and the absence of a lack of belief these are the three other aspects that need to come in into the 5 minute period if you want to execute great 5 minute periods towards your goals and your challenges the absence of emotions goes without saying if you are in emotionally driven state of mind when you are trying to perform your mind is telling you a lot of things your mind has a lot of irritation emotional irritation or emotional even even any kind of emotion positive negative if you are very happy and you are trying to work you might miss out on the key things that you need to look at when you are doing that work and you might might make silly errors so so make sure that there are no emotions in in the uh, period in in that execution time you have to operate like a robot the second thing which is which has to be absent is the uh, is the wandering of your mind your mi- mind should not be wandering from here to there which which means that if your mind if you're trying to execute something here now in front of you your mind should not wander of course it should not wander into the past it should not wander into the future it should not also wander into the into the present somewhere else that means you're trying to think about doing something and at the present some some match is happening somewhere and you're thinking about the score should not happen that's the that's the third point which is again an absence the one absence of wandering and you also need an absence of a lack of belief or a presence of a of a at least a, an enabling belief that maybe i think i can do this this task or this challenge that i've picked up because if all the other thing, things are in place yet your belief is negative your underlying belief is telling you that you're not going to be able to do this and this is the challenge that is too big for you then bringing the challenge in the next 5 minutes will not give you the outcome because your mind will interfere in your execution of of what you need to do if you take care of these four things broadly and you you uh, come to these uh, come to the next 5 minutes with these four things in place uh, the quantitative uh, listing of what you need to do uh, in place and the absence of emotions the abs- the absence of uh, of uh, your mind wandering and the absence of the lack of belief if you do that you give yourself the best chance to execute a great 5 minutes so you're with me arun sharma and this was the thoughts to change your life series and i hope you're enjoying this do like do share do subscribe and do keep listening and bye bye